Welcome to Guns and Chicken Strips. I'm your host James. What's happening? Today's a good day. <clears throat> Sunday slept in, woke up, edited, uploaded the video. I'm not gonna lie, I think it was a pretty good video. I worked really hard on the editing. I hope y'all enjoyed yesterday's video. Today, we got a few things planned. Gotta get ready for the work week. Gotta get some stuff cleaned up. We're gonna get all these truck parts cleaned up and we're gonna sell them. We're gonna get those out of here, not taking up any space. Basically, you're just gonna be hanging out with me all day. And that's not unusual. I appreciate how much y'all watch my videos. I appreciate y'all commenting, and I really enjoy doing this. So, thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Now, let's get cracking. Got them all loaded up. About to head to the car wash, make them silky smooth, shiny. Now that we've got all the parts loaded up, from Lunkers TV's truck. We're gonna go get them cleaned up, but first, we're gonna go grab something to eat. I am i don't know yet, I'm kinda craving a burger for some reason. Burger sounds so good. But what burger is the question? decision I made an executive decision what was that ah and came up with Wendy's decided to be Wendy's not a hamburger but one of my all-time favorite sandwiches it is a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich no lettuce no tomatoes just spicy chicken breaded awesomeness and mayo Delicious, one of my faves. Yes, can, may I have a spicy chicken sandwich with no lettuce, no tomatoes? Uh, you said no mustard, no tomato? I'm sorry, no lettuce, no tomatoes. Okay. And then two Junior Bacons with no lettuce, no tomatoes. And a medium Dr. Pepper. All right, can you eat yeah? That is it. 11.55 Thank you. Spicy chicken sandwich. Random fact about a spicy chicken sandwich. This shows how unhealthy I've been eating for a long time. Back in the day when I was in high school or middle school, the chicken was really thick, big piece of breast on there. Delicious. And then I noticed that they changed the name of it. And when I got it after they changed the name from spicy chicken sandwich to spicy chicken filet, it was half the breast. And that's why they changed it to filet. Still delicious. Not mad at them. I still kept eating them. And then they slowly but surely over a few years changed it back to chicken sandwich. And now it's not filet anymore. I guess they were just trying to see what people thought and see if they got mad about that. But I didn't get mad. Still amazing. Delicious. I wish they made some chicken strips in that flavor because I would eat them all day, baby. You go, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have you too. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. We're getting three different items like that. I get two of the same kind and then one differently. So I started off with one of the two. Put the in the middle. Make kind of like a food sandwich type deal situation. Junior bacon cheese first. Classic right here, man. I remember when the uh, Junior Bacon Cheese was on the dollar menu for $1. Now it's like $1.39 or something like that. When it was $1, before they had the maple bacon, it was that stringy, gooey strips of bacon that I don't even know if they think they were bacon. I don't know what it was. Still good. Now when they kicked it up a notch to the maple bacon, woo, crispy, delicious. I can't even tell you the last time I had a regular Wendy's hamburger. I always just eat off the dollar menu, the value menu now it's called, and spicy chicken sandwiches. Like I said, start off with the junior bacon cheese. Next, switch up, keep the palate guessing, spicy chicken sandwich. And their pretzel bread that they switched to, nowhere near as good as the bread before. It's still amazing. That's just how good the chicken is. The bread before, perfecto. Taste is amazing. I used to eat spicy chicken sandwiches at least three times a week because there's a Wendy's right next to my work. Easiest way to go. Now to the last Junior Bacon Chi. After the spicy chicken, your mouth is still guessing what's gonna be next. 
what's gonna be next? You got it mixed up, you gotta guess it. So you slap it in the face with some more maple bacon, cheese, beef, mayo. Now we gotta go get changed for this twanky so we can go to the car wash, spray this stuff down, and get it sold. But first, we gotta stop by the studio, Guns and Chicken Strips headquarters, pick up my uniforms and everything for work tomorrow. Got all my stuff, I'm gonna go throw it in the truck, head to the car wash, get these parts cleaned up. Yeah. Drop the sock. All right, Mad Mike. Gotta go duty. Gotta go perform. There is actually a old school car wash in my neighborhood, which makes it pretty, pretty dang easy and convenient. Be there in about three minutes. Glistening in the sun. We have arrived, people. 75 cent car wash, all you can wash for more quarters. Just finished up cleaning them off. Look at them, beautiful, shining, looking good, looking good. Now we load them up, head back to the Turkla house. Just in case you've never wanted to use one of these car washes before, what you gotta do is you gotta get at a really high rate of speed on the highway. Air knocks that water off like it's nothing. I feel so like, like such a rebel, I'm going so fast, I don't know. So fast. Let's get this beautiful garbage unloaded. Got all that stuff unloaded. Now we're back in the AC chilling. And I don't like to sit around, so found something else I could do. Got some zip ties, got some shelving I gotta put up. I'm gonna get to zip tying because they don't quite fit. You know what's about to happen. As you can see, this shelf wasn't quite meant for this shelf. So, I'm gonna do some zip tying. Task number two is done for the day. Look at that, drawers all nicely, securely installed. Just makes you feel good. Makes your man muscles just uh, testosterone boost. Gotta get one last thing done for the day. One more task, it's been a very productive day. Laundry. Got a lot coming up here. I'll be on vacation, not this week, but the next two weeks after that. 
Got a lot planned for those two weeks. Lots of big plans. So stick around and you'll see something awesome. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Guns and Chicken Strips. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow.